Hey guys, today on How To Cook Everything and Everything, we're gonna be making beef stew in what I would say is the leading actor in food porn. Yes, my friends, this is the Le Creuset cast iron casserole pot. I love it! Le Creuset to me is absolutely everything. It's the essence of how you should cook food. You know it's durable, you know it's versatile, you know it's gonna last you forever, you know it's a legacy piece that's gonna basically go down the line in all your family. It turns every home and every meal and every cooking experience into an event. And that's why today I'm talking to you about the Le Creuset cast iron casserole pot. Yes, I'm excited. Yes, it's gonna be delicious and boy oh boy, Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so why do I have a culinary hard on for this? Well, I'm telling you right now, guys, this to me is traditional cooking and it's best right here, right now in the millennium. It is not changed its profile in the last 150 years. It's cast iron all the way through. It's absolutely beautiful inside. It's enamel encoded as well. So you don't even have to worry about scratching it or anything. This is the original non-stick at the end of the day. It's really, really durable. I mean, that is, this is gonna last me at least 60 years. I'm gonna pass this to my children and then I'm gonna pass it to my grandchildren. I can cook absolutely anything in this as well. It doesn't matter if it was a roast chicken and vegetables. If I wanted to make a soup, I wanna do fondue, I wanna bake a cake in here, I wanna store my shoes in here. Whatever you want me to do with it, it can do it. And it's just so simple. And the reason why these are always at a valued point, okay, they're always around about 100 bucks, is because you're getting lasting long quality. And the, to me, the, when you see the stew that we're gonna make today, is what you'll realize is nothing ever tastes better than when it comes out of a cast iron pot. And Le Creuset just know how to do that. So I'm gonna throw some olive oil in there, put some butter in, onions and garlic. Olive oil, butter, garlic, onion, all going in the pan right now, okay? Sizzling away, browning off nicely. But here is the main attraction. You've got to get the beef right. What we've got down here is we've got some stewing beef. I've got some flour. And then what I'm going to add to the flour, we're going to make a dredge, okay? So it's like a, basically a rub. And what we want to do is we want to capture all the amazing flavors. So first of all, we've got to put some paprika into this, make it nice, a little bit dry and spicy, okay? Then a little thyme to make it a little sweet. A little salt. Little pepper. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it around and get everything all covered up, okay? So, <laughs> okay, you get the dredge on it, okay? What this helps is it creates like a beautiful golden crust around the beef. It protects it as it's searing, but also it helps get those flavors caught up in there. And then the fat that's actually in the bottom of the Le Creuset will then turn into these beautiful golden nuggets of flavor, which we're gonna lift off to make our gravy. Shake it off. Pop them in. There we go. So here's a bit of a trick for you. I'm gonna take some beef stock and I'm actually going to sprinkle it over the beef before you add the water to it, okay? And what it's gonna do is everything's gonna emulsify to make you the perfect, like, gravy. Now as our stewing beef has got nice and brown, we're gonna put that to one side. I'm gonna add a little extra oil. Okay. And then I'm gonna throw in all my ingredients, okay? I've got carrots, tomatoes, and some potato in there, and we're gonna mix everything together. When I said about non-stick, this is, as this is hot enough, this is what you want. You want everything in there, rotating, sweating out, browning off. That's what you wanna keep everything so everything holds its structure. But look at that. This is the stuff we're gonna lift off to make our sauce in a second though. These are the golden nuggets of flavor. And this is what makes Le Creuset cooking so unique. Because not 
any other thing that you would ever cook in will give you the power of actually capturing flavor in for your dish. You can tell I'm excited. Right, now we're gonna add in some mustard. So I want a really nice contrast of flavor. Add some Worcestershire sauce. Give it a beautiful meaty, meaty, meaty and unique flavor. Okay, look at that, wow. Some more beef stock. And then I'm gonna add a beer to lift everything off the bottom. You see, it's all coming off the bottom now. And that's what you do, is just use a little bit of red wine, a little bit of beer, a little bit of Guinness. And what we're gonna do is add some water to it now, okay? Oh yeah. All right. Last ingredients, frozen peas, because it would not be dinner with the kids without frozen peas. Okay, the lid's gonna go on, and that's gonna go in the oven at 420 degrees for the next hour and a half. So we're gonna bring this over here. Whoa. See you in an hour and a half. Okay, boom, there we are. Look at that baby cooking away. Out we come. Get ready for this. This is the theater of Electrizé. Look at that, that is delicious. Now, this is a stew. Yes, it's a little brown, but you know what? We're gonna color it up with some beautiful green beans. A little bit of extra gravy over the top. One for me, one for you. That, my friends, was the Le Creuset cast iron uh, cooking pot. These are something that you've got to have in every kitchen you ever own. And this is something that you can pass down to every member of your family year in, year out. It is theatre, it is gorgeous, it is sexy. Everything that comes out of it, even if it looks like sludge, will always taste amazing. You can bake in them, you can roast in them, you can even saute in them. You don't even ever have to have a frying pan ever again. You could leave your breakfast in there. So remember, if you would like this recipe or you would like to find out more about the Leprosé cast iron pot, please go to dannyboom.com and also look at our review because you could even get this pot for what we bought it for. See you soon.